Mwah. Hi guys, so in the video today I'm going to be doing a first impression swatch and review of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have a little baby one right here that I got as a sample from Sephora. This is in the color 5.5. I'll go through with you in the video how I don't really like this color. As you can see, my shoulder and my chest are like three, four shades darker than my face. And it kind of makes me look very um, vampire-ish. So I will talk about that later on in the video. But if you want to see my first impression slash review slash swatch, then please keep on watching. I have my little Giorgio Armani foundation right here. This is in the number 5.5 Luminous Silk Foundation. And this is what it looks like. The consistency looks a little liquidy, so I decided to use a beauty blender. So I'm just going to put a good amount on the back of my hand. So as you can see, the consistency is definitely liquidy. I'm actually going to be applying my Angel Veil Angel Veil, Angel Veil, Angel Veil Primer underneath. Just because this is the primer that I use most often. So, we want to feel, see how it feels on top of this. Once I've applied that, I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to be blending this in. So right off the bat, as I'm blending this in, this color is a little bit lighter than what I would normally go for. Just because my face is a lot, about a couple of shades lighter than my body. So it matches my face, but then the rest of my body doesn't match. So this is what it looks like after I'm done blending it out. I'm just going to zoom you guys out so you can see. Um, definitely not my color, 100%. 5.5 um, is definitely a lot paler than what I would want to go for. But I do like how it feels. It doesn't dry completely. Um, I mean, I just finished putting it on, so we're going to let it dry a little bit. I'm actually going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and this is in light. And I'm just going to use that contour kit to put a little color back into my face. So after fixing up my makeup a little bit and adding some color back into my face, I honestly would say that this foundation um, does come off a little bit powdery. And that might be because it's too light for me, um, but it also could be because it is the Luminous Silk Foundation. So I feel like it has some illuminizing powers inside of the foundation. It's definitely a light to medium coverage foundation. Um, somewhere in between there, it's definitely not medium itself and it's definitely not full coverage because um, I do have a little bit of other parts of my face where I would have to cover. Um, I don't know how I feel about how it feels on my skin because it is just a little bit, I don't want to say sticky and give you guys the wrong word because it's not sticky but it's not it's not dry, even after I put powders on top of it. Um, but I do kind of like how it is such a light coverage and it does cover a good amount. I don't really like heavy foundations um, or heavy coverage where you can't see any part of my face. Like if I had freckles, they would just make them disappear. So I do like the consistency a lot. And I do like the coverage. Again, the only thing I would say is that it does come out a little bit, hello, it does come out a little bit powdery. But like I said, that might just be because um, this is probably a couple shades too light for me. And again, the arm comparison and the face comparison 
maybe like one or two shades too light. Now that the rest of my makeup is done, you get to see this baby in action. These lights um, are making this foundation look real flawless. I do really like the way that this foundation feels. It definitely doesn't feel like it's weighing down my face. It's not covering up too much to the point where it is going to weigh down my face. So I would give this foundation a thumbs up. I think my only issue with it is that it's a completely horrible color for my skin tone because I'm a lot tanner than this. Before any of you start to ask, I'm going to tell you what is on my lips. I have the Kiko Precision Lip Liner. This is number 305. And then I have the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline on top. So for my nails, if you're curious about what color is on my nails, this is the Essie Perennial Chic color. This is what that looks like. And yeah, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my first impression slash swatch slash review of this foundation. There are other foundations that I would prefer over it, and I don't know if I would pay the money for this foundation necessarily just because it is a very expensive foundation. But if you get the chance to try out a mini one, try it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you try another brush, if you try um, a beauty blender, it's up to you. But let me know what you think guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.